Alright. Good afternoon in sunny Kansas. It is sunny today. Beautiful March day. Got it's technically a river, but really this is just a dugout entrenched portion of it. Uh <laughs> It's normally not like this. This is just, they've created a, a long lake, if you will. It's just been dug out with the berm pile thrown up there on the north, northwest side of the uh, creek part here. Anyway, but it's still nice, it's still pretty. They've dug it out deep, it's a good deep hole. There's fish and stuff in there. But uh, water's clear too for this time of year, but it's beautiful. Anyway, what I'm here about for you guys today is Glen Moray. Glen Moray. It's the Elgin Classic. This one is product of Scotland, of course. Single malt Scotch whiskey. This does ha have an age statement. And I, I've had a chance to buy the 12 year and I need to go ahead and do it. And, uh, I've got the 16 at home, but I've just never opened it with the because the 10 so damn neat. I just enjoy it. But, sorry about that. I had a piece of grass fly in my mouth. Glenmorey Distillery has been producing single malt Scotch whiskey since the 19th century from Elgin, the capital of Speyside, Scotland's most famous whiskey region. The craft of producing this elegant, well rounded single malt has been passed from generation to generation, ensuing a legacy of Glenmorey Distillery the legacy of the Glen Moray distillery continues. This is 40% alcohol by volume. Uh, I can't think of... Hmm. I can't read the guy's name that distilled it and doesn't... I can't make out that signature. So, I do not know. Uh... It says on the back, the Glen Murray Elgin Classic slowly matured in traditional oak casks. The one thing we know about this for sure is it is at least three years old. Uh, but I'm going to assume it's probably, I've had a little bit, in the six to eight year range. That's what I really think it probably is more than anything. I had the Chardonnay cask finish and they have several other cask finishes. In fact, in fact I seen a different one the other day, but after my experience with the Chardonnay cask, I just, I have no desire to do it, any of them. But I already had this one. I bought it because it came in a, uh, a couple years ago, it came in a, uh, oh, a holiday pack with two glasses, and so I wanted the two glasses, and it was cheap. I think at that time, I only paid $24.99 for this and the holiday pack with the two glasses. Uh, and I thought that was a pretty good deal, so I got it. Anyway, I didn't open it till. Oh, it gave us a good pump. Give us a good little thump on it. I didn't open it till. Oh, the middle part of last year sometime. Start sampling it here and there. Sorry about the wind again. This is Kansas. Uh, well, I can smell it. Just the wind blowing it up. I mean, it has a great multi smell to it. It's very light. It's a golden color. It's not a. It's not dark at all. So that almost you know it doesn't say uh doesn't say it has any coloring added but my gosh if they're going to add color at least add enough to really make it look like it's got some color i can't say it for sure but i'd almost bet this is natural color i mean i don't know for sure we do know it's probably chill filtered but it is a budget product it's not a more expensive product but the coloration definitely does lend itself to being probably natural color. I mean, you got to think distilleries would save a little money just by bottling with natural color. That's one less expense. I mean, sure, it doesn't take but a few drops of caramel to to uh, color your whiskey, but I mean, really, it doesn't. Do I, you know, the, the legs slowly form and develop. It's it's fairly viscous. For I mean, if you can actually see, they kind of all fall. It kind of develops and they all kind of fall at the same time. That's pretty interesting. Takes a minute or two. They're starting to develop now. 
and they tend to all fall at once. I mean, some are a little slower than others, but it's pretty interesting. So it does speak of some viscosity. It's got a fresh lemony malty odor to it right off the bat. You can smell the maltiness from the glass to here. There is a nice lemon character with it. Almost a lemon meringue pie. I mean, you're getting the meringue too, that sweetness. And there's a multi background. There's a nice vanilla note in there. Not bad smelling at all. There's no off-putting odors. I'm not getting anything else. Simple, straightforward. Not complicated. It's got to be bourbon cask exclusively matured. I'm not getting any sherry or European cask notes off this. Nice, malty, I'm going to say it, a barley note. Lemon, custard. Beautiful vanilla in it. Nice mouthfeel. Not excellent. Not as promising as it looked on the glass, but it is still a worthwhile mouthfeel. This isn't advertising anything it's not, and it's not pretending to be something that it's not. And there's something to be said for that. It's enjoyable. It's not overly complex, but for $24.99, unless you're finding a total gem out there, you're not going to find overly complex. Excuse me, whiskey burp. But, that said, what it does, it does well. And we've always got to keep all this into... into uh, context when we're drinking whiskey. Now sometimes, in some ways, there's some things that you can just analyze the hell out of. And then there's some things that you just don't analyze the hell out of. This doesn't need that. It doesn't. It doesn't. You're not going to go in this overthinking it. Oh, let me get on. Oh, no. no. Take it as it comes to you. And I can smell the malt coming off from here to here from this wind. So the malt is a nice bourbon cask finished malty whiskey with some nice lemon, vanilla, and custard style notes. That's it. There's no sourness, no bitterness, no awkwardness to it. It doesn't come across as super youthful, so I still think we're safe in that six to eight year range. It's not overly complex or old. It's just a nice, solid drinking whiskey. That's a surprise, in all honesty. I, you could serve this to to non-Scotch drinkers; they would enjoy it. Forty percent. There's n and there's no alcohol burn with this. There's none. So it's a safe bet to serve guests. They're not going to sit down and go. Oh, oh. Nothing like that. And just with those simple notes, you can begin to talk them through what you're getting with it. They're not going to get a lot else. They may have a certain sensitivity to certain things they may get that you don't. But you take a sip and you coach them and you develop that. Go fly. 
they're going to understand where you're coming from and they're going to understand what they're getting good basic whiskey solid 84 out of 100 this is drinkable is it something i really want to buy again no and it's not because i don't dislike it because i don't dislike it i just rather spend the money elsewhere to try something new i would like to try its 12 year old cousin now the 12 year old brother to it that's what i would like to try that chardonnay that was awful stuff i i I did not like it. I probably gave it a higher score than it really even deserved. The Chardonnay cask finish. But this one, this one is right where it needs to be for a beginner's dram. Anyway, I've spoken enough about this. So remember the spirit in your glass ain't running from you. Take your time, sip it, enjoy it. You'll be better for it. Get out on a nice warm day like today. Sit in your lawn chair out by the out by the river or the creek or the lake or whatever your flavor is enjoy the wind or non-wind in your area but this is kansas we got wind and just enjoy the sunlight and the anticipation of spring and summer see you guys later all right guys i'll give you a quick pan of the area just so you can see what it's like yeah, it's a little tilted there so let's get her a little more level for everybody it's hard for me to maintain it level and being tilted and all that so anyway later everyone